I'm from the Cesar Chavez Central Library and as part of Hispanic Heritage Month, we are going to be learning how to make tamales and I am with you here in my friend Irma's kitchen and she is going to be teaching us how to do this. I am culinarily challenged so I am looking forward to her helping me learn how to do this. Let's get started. Okay, so to get started, what we are going to need is New Mexico chili pods. They're dried. This bag is about 7.5 ounces. Um, then we're gonna use a quarter of an onion, one piece of garlic, one clove of garlic. With the chilies, we take them out of the bag and we have them in a pot of water, which we're going to boil. So we take them out and we get a handful, a good handful. It's really not a quantity. We break a little piece like this because we have to aerate it. We're leaving the seeds inside and then we place them in the pot. So just like this, get a little bit of a tear in there. And yep, you just keep going. You don't have to worry about removing stems or seeds. We just get them in that pot. Basically what you want to do is fill your pot. This is going to make the sauce for the meat and for when we add it to the masa. This one's a little tough. It's giving me a hard time. Got it. Wrestling with chilies. Here we go. Okay, you must see what I'm doing. Mas, mas chiles. Mas, mas, mas. Okay, mas, mas, mas. And as you see over here on the stove, we've got a pot ready where we're gonna add our meat. So that'll come next. As it's all cooking, basically what you're doing is gauging for flavor. New Mexico chilies tend to have a smoky flavor to them. They have a little bit of spice, not too much. Así, Irma? Un poquito más. Un poquito más. Okay, we're going to continue adding. Got my expert over here. And we're going to add more water as needed because we want to make sure the chilies are covered. Okay, so now we're going to get this and we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to set it to boil. The next step is we're gonna prepare the meat. So the part, the kind of meat, it's really up to you, but what we are using is we are using five pounds of um, a pork leg. We're gonna wash the meat, we're gonna cut it into pieces, we're gonna place it in the pot with the clove of garlic and with the onion. We'll be right back with you. Okay, now that we've washed our meat and prepared it, we're gonna put it into a pot of boiling water. So you just take the pieces, you gently place them in the water. Ooh. Then you take your onion, your garlic, and your salt. It's, it's to taste. Again, we don't really do measurements in Mexican cooking. We just kind of throw stuff in and we make it taste good. So just toss it in there. And this is going to be your flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you put the top on it and you're going to let it boil. It'll probably take about one to two hours. One to two about an hour to an hour and a half, you're going to let your meat simmer and cook to it till it's done. assemble our tamales 
As you can see in front of us, we have the sauce, we have the meat, we have what's called the ojas, the corn husks, we have our masa, and over with Miss Raquel, she's gonna be doing the ones with the rajas, and so that's jalapenos and queso fresco. Mm -hmm. Right now, Miss Irma is gonna show us how we need to spread them. Say hi, Irma. Hi. 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 Raquel, say hi. Hi. Okay, Irma, show us how to spread these. All right. So we take the spatula and we make a thin layer onto the corn husk. Or in Spanish it's called hojas. We take a little bit of meat, just a pinch, a little spoonful of the chile, the salsa, and then she folds one side over the other and bends it upward. Right. Okay, Raquel, are you ready to try this? I will do my best. Okay. We have a case in the Okay. 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 Like this? Yes. So the narrower side towards the, like that, okay? And then I scoop it. Spread it all out. Okay. As evenly as you possibly can across the whole corn husk. It's a little tricky. Okay. She you got want, the, she got, and look at the motion. She did that. I know. <laughs> I'm like, huh? So I guess the idea is to get it nice and thin. Okay, let's see how I fare. Oh, Irma dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, which is what this is now. Two. Yes. 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 Y
I don't really know how to do these from finish to end. This is the part I remember. It's muscle memory. Yeah. <laughs> so just like job. that. Okay. And then we grab a pinch of the meat. And how do you say the pork again in Spanish? Esto es pierna de puerco. ¿Verdad? Sí. Yeah. Pierna de puerco. And then a little scoop of chili. One side, another side. Fold it up. And that's how we wrap our tamales. Woo! Thank you, Ima, for Yay! showing us this. And we'll be back when these are done and me and Miss Raquel are gonna try them to see how well we did. Join us in a little bit.